Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. Today you'll learn how to create a highlighted text style in Photoshop. This is one of the most popular text styles, especially on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media networks. Marketers love it because it'll work no matter what you have as a background, and it's very attention grabbing. This should be an easy process like it is in Adobe InDesign, but unfortunately it's not that easy in Photoshop. But I do have a neat little trick that will give you really good results, and once you find out how it's done, you can do it in less than a minute. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create the highlighted text style in Photoshop. Let's start off with the quick way of doing this. Most people simply draw rectangles behind the text with the rectangle tool. Duplicate the layer, reposition it, and then transform the width to fit the other line. And then you just repeat this until you're done. This method seems very obvious and it doesn't look like it takes a lot of time. The downside is that you end up with rectangles that don't have even spacing around the text. You can be very careful and precise with the transformations, but if you have 3 or more lines of text, it's going to take a lot of time and effort. If you're more picky about the results and you want even spacing around the text, or if you have many lines of text, then keep watching and I'll show you a quick and easy trick to create a highlighted text style with better results. Start by typing your text. This trick only works for capitalized text by the way. It won't work for descenders like the letters J, G, P, etc. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J, and then go into your character panel and enable the underline option. If you don't see this panel, you can open it by going to Window, Character. Change the color of your text layer to the color of your highlight. I will set mine to black because I want white text on a black background. Now we're going to transform the underlines into rectangles. First we need to convert it from a text layer to a shape layer by right clicking on the layer and choosing convert to shape. Now we can remove the text using the path selection tool. Select the text with this tool and then press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the text. Repeat this for all of the text. Next, go into your layers panel and position this layer below your other text layer. Switch to the direct path selection tool. Unlike the previous path selection tool, the Direct Path Selection tool will let you select the individual nodes in a shape, as opposed to the entire shape. Hold the Shift key and then select the top half of all of the rectangles. Make sure to keep holding the Shift key as you're making the selections. Once you have all the rectangles selected, move them upwards by holding the Shift key and then pressing the up arrow on your keyboard until you get the height that you want. Next, select the left side of the text and then drag it outwards by holding the shift key and pressing the left arrow. Repeat this for the right side. And we're done! This is a great technique if you have many lines of text, or if you have more than one image that you need to apply this text style to and you want them to have the same highlight spacing. And because this is a factor shape object, you can always go into the option bar with any factor tool selected and change the color or outline. Here are some examples of different highlighted text styles you can apply. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Just want to give you an update on what I'm currently working on. I'm trying to create some Photoshop actions that'll do all of this for you automatically. And I do have a working prototype. Basically, you hit the play button and you'll get the highlighted text style. It's also all factor. It's percentage based measurements. So if you're fine, it's 10 pixels or 100 pixels. Doesn't matter, it's going to have the same style to it. Now that sounds great, but the problem is that I can only get it to work on one line of text not multiple lines of text. And that is the biggest struggle for me right now. I do have some ideas on what to do, and I'm going to experiment some more. I really hope that I can get this product to work, because if I can, then it means that you don't have to follow this tutorial anymore. This tutorial is all useless, and you can just play the action, and it's so much easier. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.